going on with you guys, man? Hopefully you guys are having a great week. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about the pain of watching your child grow. EJ, daddy, love you if you're watching this. I have a two-year-old son. His name is EJ. Uh, his little boy is so special to me. I love him so much. And he's he's beginning to, to be his own person. He has his own personality. We just switched out his crib for his own big boy bed. It's a twin it's a twin mattress. He has drawers underneath. He has a headboard. You know, we got him a big boy sheet and a big boy comforter with Buzz Lightyear on it. He's no longer a baby, man. He's no longer a baby. I, I, I didn't think, I didn't think that it would be this hard watching your kid grow up. And he's able to do, you know, not only full, complete sentences. He can ask you a question. He can tell you a story. He'll tell you what happened at school today. He'll tell you what his friends told him, you know, everything. He's able to communicate and remember what happened, not only earlier in the day, but, you know, weeks before the day that he's talking to you. It's it's amazing. But watching him grow is breaking my heart, man. Breaking my heart. I thought the hardest part would be raising him. I thought the hardest part would be me becoming a father that is, you know, worthy of having uh, such a beautiful, sweet child like him. I thought, I thought becoming the man that he deserved to have, I thought that would be the hardest part. I thought that would be the hardest part. Changing diapers, being careful with his head. I thought that would be the most difficult part of being a father. It's not. And yeah, I hate to say it, man, I think every single day, I think about having another one. I can't afford another one because it would be financially respon it would be financially irresponsible. We have a combined household income of less than $120,000 a year. So I feel like if you're doing that to yourself and you have another kid, you just asking to fail. No no offense to people that have multiple kids that make less than that, but I want to have a, a I want to have some freedom. You know, I would like to to have some flexibility and I, I refuse to live paycheck to paycheck. Uh, for uh, like a third of my kid's childhood. I just I just don't want to uh, go through that, even though kids really don't remember. You know, they think that's normal. I was a hood baby. So, you know, I, what, what I went through, there's nothing wrong with what I went through, sharing bedrooms, eating ramen noodles, all that crap. There ain't nothing wrong with that, you know, but um, you, you got to stretch. You got to stretch things a little thin sometimes to make to make ends meet. But I, I just don't want my kids to have to go through that, even if they are unaware but, you know, every single day I wake up thinking like, man, I wish I could have, have another one of these. And uh, pe people downplay fatherhood um, a lot on social media or not having children. Um, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, being a father is corny. Um, you know, I think it's awesome. And I think being a father is the highest honor, even though it's very difficult. Um, it's, it, you know, it's very time consuming. Being a parent is a job where you never clock out. But it's it's the best job in the world. And I get to mold this tiny person who's going to grow up to be a, a, a wonderful, strong man who puts his best foot forward. And I know he'll make me very, very proud and make great decisions. And I'm, I'm already proud of him. I didn't know it was possible for you to be proud of a, a toddler, <laughs> you know. Um, but you know, being a, being a dad is a blessing, but I'll holla at you guys later, man. Uh, for all you parents out there, what's the hardest part about parenting for you guys? You know, uh, for me, it's watching my kid grow up. Now you could have other problems as a parent and as a father, because there's a lot of fathers that don't get to see their kid. Um, I feel like the person that you have children with, you got to be on the same page. Um, because when you are a parent, and when you're creating a family, you have two different hats as a mom and as a dad. Uh, whether you're together or not, you have two different hats. You have the hat for being a co-parent, right? Because whether you like it or not, you're a co-parent, right? And then the other hat is the boyfriend, the husband, the girlfriend, the wife, the fiance, whatever you want to call it, right? The romantic hat. And then there's the hat of responsibility and obligation for you to love and take care of your child. The romantic hat is just, you know, the love that you share between the mom or the dad, you know, but you have to be on the same page in order for this to be successful, or at least I think so. You have to be on the same page and remember that you got to put your best, uh, you, you got to make sure that everything that you do is for your kid, you know, and that always has got to be the top priority, regardless of disagreements or arguments. 
But, uh, you know, it's, it's easier said than done. I'm still pretty young. Like I said, I'm not saying this as though I know everything. I have a lot to learn about fatherhood, but um, I've learned a lot so far. And uh, yeah, that, that's, that's what I've learned. That's what I've taken from it. Um, it's a blessing. I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you so much to any to any father out there, to any mother out there that has a kid on the way. Congratulations. Enjoy it. And when they tell you that it moves uh, really fast, it really does. They're not lying. Um, but yeah, I'll holler at you guys later. Take it easy. Peace.